Yo, time to get that upper body yoked with this dumbbell upper body workout, guys. I am so pumped to rock the upper physique. Let's get excited, let's train. All right, everyone, who's ready to rock this upper body workout? This is a rare one here for none of you two, but you know what, in this dumbbell workout series, we gotta hit all the muscle groups. I cannot wait to rock this upper body workout. Now, I'd recommend having a lighter set of dumbbells and a heavier set of dumbbells just for different compound exercises. So our first circuit, guys, I'd like you to grab your heavier dumbbells and make your way down to the ground here, okay? We're gonna be doing a floor press, which means our backs are nice and flat. We're dropping our arms down like we're doing a bench press, and we're gonna press up for 15 reps. Here we go, right away, one. Press right up to the sky, two. Good, three. Squeeze, four. Push up, five. Push up, six. Seven, really drive those weights up to the roof. Eight, nine, let's go 10. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. You can put those heavy weights down. You're going to make your way up to your feet. Catch your breath, shake it out. We're now going to move into the dumbbell back row. Uh, once again, I would use your heavy dumbbells for this exercise. Make sure you keep your back nice and flat and we're pulling our shoulder blades back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five more. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Shake it out, catch your breath. We're gonna move into our final exercise in this circuit, and that is a standing overhead shoulder press. You're welcome to use your heavy dumbbells if you'd like, or your lighter dumbbells. I usually go a little lighter for the shoulder press, just for shoulder health and safety. We're gonna tuck those elbows, guys. Press right over top for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, push up, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great work, team. Shake it out, catch your breath. A couple pointers here when we're training the upper body. It's so important that in every upper body exercise, your shoulders are drawn back. So you never want to have your shoulders rounded forward. That's why you see a lot of hunchbacks walking around these days on the streets. It's because they're not training their back, they're internally rotated. We really want to make sure our shoulders are back and pinned as we press, as we row, as we press. All right guys, back down to the ground here. We're going to make our way into a second round of the four chest press. Here we go. One, two, press right up, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go, guys. Ten. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Great work, guys. And you can tuck those elbows in if your shoulders are hurting a little bit. Everybody up to their feet here. We're gonna move into those back rows now. Nice, tight core, back nice and flat, shoulders pulled back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, catch your breath. Nice deep breath in your nose, out through your mouth, let's start to sweat already. Big upper body pump here. Fun to do these. I had this one planned for a while. I was really excited to pull out a upper body workout here. Guys, we're gonna move right into standing shoulder press. Here we go, three, two, one, one. Press up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, give me five, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. Great work. Nice breath in your nose, out through your mouth. We're going to wake our way back down to the ground here, guys, for the final time. Like I said, you should be using heavier dumbbells for these exercises. These are the compound movements for the upper body, which means there's more muscle groups working, which means we can typically go a little bit heavier in the weight. All right, guys, here we go. 15 breaths, chest press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, we got five, five, four, three, two, and one. Great work, whose chest is feeling that? Awesome work, guys. Make your way back up to your feet here. Catch your breath. What do you guys think of the all red today? I'm having fun with the outfits now, you know? Having fun with the outfits. All right, guys, here we go. 15 back rows, let's see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! The pop is real. All right, team, here we go. Let's get these shoulder presses and we'll take a little break. One, get them up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five, four, three, two, one. There it is. Oh, baby. Yeah, boy. That was a big first circuit, guys. Three big compound lifts. Let's take a nice breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, guys, so I want you now to grab some lighter weights. We're gonna move into our accessory circuit here, and we're gonna start with the dumbbell lateral raise. Okay, so slight bend in the elbow. Weights are coming right up to the sides. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, Six, get them up. Seven, get them up. Eight, nine, ten. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful shake it out, guys. Little shake out on those lateral raises. It's really important that you're thinking of pushing the weights to the other opposite sides of the room. I always think about pushing out to the side rather than bringing up to not engage my trap as much. We really want to focus on that medial delt. Picking up the light weights again, guys, we're going to move into our tricep kickbacks. So bending over, elbows are staying high, really important. We're going to squeeze the kickback for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five, five, four, Three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Nice breath, guys. Getting a great sweat on in this upper body workout. Staying with the light dumbbells, we're gonna move right into our bicep curls, guys. So squeeze up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, 10, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great work, there we go, shake it out. What a complete upper body workout, starting with our compound circuit. Now moving into our accessory circuits. Couple pointers on the arm exercises. On that tricep kickback, you have to keep that elbow high. If you drop that elbow, you'll lose the tension in the tricep. And with the bicep curls, make sure you're keeping those elbows turned into your body and they're not flaring out for maximal engagement of the biceps. All right, guys, second round. Let's go, 15 lateral raises, squeeze them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got five, five, four, three, two, 
Oh, amazing, guys. All right, setting up for kickbacks. Elbows high up. Let's go squeeze that tricep for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two. Holy cannolis, I'm on fire right now. Let's shake it out, guys. Shake it out. Nice breath in your nose, out through your mouth. Right away, we're moving into those bicep curls. Let's see it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five, four, three, Two, squeeze up guys, come on. Shake it out, there we go. What a workout here guys, this has been awesome. What an upper body pump. Highly recommend you're gonna do this one again for an ultimate upper body workout. But if you just do one round, I mean, you guys, I'm getting an incredible pump here already with just this one round of this upper body workout. All right guys, third time's a charm. Here we go, final set on the lateral raises. Let's see it team, here we go, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five. Five, four, three, two. Holy cannoli! Shake it out. Those lateral raises, guys, are tougher than they look. They're probably one of the most under-executed exercises that I see in the gym, and that's due to so much swinging. Yeah, if you guys watch those, I'm not going up so high. I'm just staying right in that sweet spot, hitting that medial delt. We'll work on that for in the weeks to come. All right, guys, kick it back for triceps, elbows high. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five more. Five, four, three. Two, squeeze, shake it out. Woo! What a great workout, guys. We're getting close to getting a nice little break. We're almost there. We're gonna finish off with the 15 bicep curls. Keep those elbows in tight for one. Squeeze up, guys. Two, keep up with me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need five more. Five, four, three, two, and buddy! Oh! See the noise, there it is! All right guys, let's set up for that plank. As we do in every dumbbell workout here, plank time, top of prone, push up position. And here we go guys, tight core, push away from the ground, legs strong, uh, right over top of the hands guys. And let's connect to the breath. I want to take this moment to say how proud I am of each and every one of you. We're rocking a full body, or sorry, an upper body workout here on Nunzi YouTube. That is uh, a little rare for us, but we uh, got it done and I'm um, really proud of everyone. So keep it up. Hold that core nice and tight. I'm gonna count you down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and shake it out. It's incredible. Great work, guys. Make sure you do that one again. But before you do, let's check in. Huddle up. Woo! Give these biceps a little kiss. How you know is you can't touch your shoulders. That's when you know you've done a great bicep workout, guys. I'm so proud of you. Way to rock that upper body workout. Make sure you do it again for an ultimate upper body pump. Guys, we got new workouts coming out every Monday and Thursday, so put that in your calendar and know that that's when new workouts are coming out. We have a schedule now on Nunzi YouTube, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. All things Nunzi in the description below, all my socials, my training, coaching services, my glute training app, and much more, guys, all down in that description if you're interested. And finally, guys, you all know the drill. If you're not excited, say it out loud with me. Get excited. Great work, guys. Until next time, let's go.